Valorant is one of the most popular online shooting games today. Thanks not only to its dynamic gameplay, but also to its reliability as an online multiplayer. Valorant is played by millions of people every week across the world. But it, like many online games, suffers from connectivity challenges such as high pain and packet loss problems. If you're experiencing stuttering and slowness when playing Valorant, it might be due to a packet loss problem. In this video, we'll show you the effective solutions that you can try to address a packet loss problem. Make certain that the Valorant servers are operational. Unannounced server maintenance might occur and create problems. You may check the official website to see whether there is an ongoing outage with the Valorant servers. If there are no known server problems at this time. The next thing you can do is restart your computer. This is especially important if you've left your computer on for a prolonged amount of time or if you've been playing the game for an extended period of time. Another simple troubleshooting step you should take in this case is to power cycle your network equipment at home. This frequently overcomes internet connection troubles for most people when gaming. Turn off your modem, router, disconnect it from the power source for 30 seconds, then restart it. Some gamers may only experience packet loss at specific times of day. If you believe that the Valorant packet loss problem you're experiencing happens only when all members of your family are present, it's conceivable that the problem is caused by network congestion. In this case, you can temporarily unplug any other devices that are using bandwidth. If you're playing Valorant on your laptop, one of the most efficient solutions to solve the packet loss issue is to use an Ethernet connection instead of Wi-Fi. If your PC is already linked to the router by Ethernet cable, simply disregard this advice and move on to the next alternative. Your network drivers might also be the source of this issue. Even if you have a reliable internet connection, significant packet loss spikes might occur if your system's network drivers fail. Check for the most recent drivers for your specific network device, especially in this situation. Typically, chip manufacturers will release updates and new driver versions of their device as part of a Windows update bundle. So make sure you also check whether you need to update your Windows operating system and apply any updates that are available at this time. You may check the processes tab in the task manager to see if there are any other programs running. You may then utilize the end task button to force close any programs you need to close. Changing DNS servers might occasionally resolve online gaming troubles. Your PC will utilize your ISP's default DNS server, but you may alter that. What you must do is as follows. Press the Windows key on your keyboard, type in Control Panel and open the Control Panel app. Click Network and Internet. Go to Network and Sharing Center. Click on Change Adapter Options. Right click on Ethernet Network or Wi-Fi and click Properties in the Ethernet Properties window. Click Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Then select Properties in the Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 window. Select Use the following DNS server addresses. For your preferred DNS server, type in 8.8.8.8. For your alternate DNS server, type in 8.8.4.4. Make sure to enable validate settings upon exit box. Then click OK. Although Riot Games discourages users from utilizing a VPN, you can try running Valorant with a VPN if you suspect your internet service provider is restricting or slowing your connection when you try to play. Fixing packet loss in any circumstance is difficult owing to the numerous aspects that must be addressed. If none of the methods in this video have helped so far, we recommend contacting your internet service provider so they may look into your issue and perform a more complete troubleshooting. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.